It's been a minute since I sat down and just did a good old makeup tutorial, especially with the holidays coming up. I feel like it's only my duty to give you guys the tea on not only my favorite makeup products right now, but to give you a little spice, some motivation to just go all out with your makeup this holiday season, because why not? So without further ado, let's just jump right into the makeup because girl, you see this face? She is bare, she is, yeah. I feel so awkward right now. I'm not even gonna lie because I don't have my music. I usually have my music to like bounce off ideas. I don't know, there's something about listening to music that makes you feel a little bit more open and free. And there's nothing behind me because YouTube wants to be a little rude and copyright me all the time. But anyways, we're gonna start with the brows. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, what? Wait, no, that is right. Get your shit together, bitch. I do have my brows laminated. It is slowly but surely fading away. We're just gonna get these bitches right and tight, look at this, oh my god. But what I like to do is basically like brush it through my brows the opposite direction, really get it coated up in there, and then go back in and laminate them shits. Like get them so straight and flat to the skin. I also really do like the Anastasia brush, this little like paddle thing, really laminate them down. Like these brows ain't going nowhere. I do like brushing them through. It's kind of a process. Lying them straight and then making them look fluffy. I like a fluffy laminated brow. Starting with my eyes first, just so we can really like carve it out and I'm gonna use tape. This is literally just regular tape. I should probably invest in like some makeup tape for your eyes because I don't know if this is good to put it on your skin, but whatever. Line it up with my bottom lash line and have it go up and out. Honestly, the hardest part is lying down the tape and I never really put it down perfectly, but that's why you start with your eyes first so then you can like carve it out. Before we jump into the eyes, I need to plep. My plep. <laughs> plep. Hear me out. When I say this is lip plumping, this is giving yourself lip injections. Oh wait, hold on. Look, this is the before, okay? Nothing crazy. I have small lips. This is from Polite Society. This is going to do it for you. Like it low key, sometimes I have to take it off because it's insane. The Big Mouth Lip Plumping Oil Lip Gloss. First of all, it is so hydrating and it makes the lips look perfect. I just, I love a good glossy lip, okay? It makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel good. I don't even know how to explain it, but like it low key makes the lips feel numb a little bit. But let me just say, if you don't like the feeling of something plumping, that's gonna like, you know, cause that tingling sensation. You might not like this, but if you love that, you gotta try this because it's insane. Like I can't even explain what it feels like. Long story short, you can feel it working. You can feel it's working and it's so freaking good, okay? Moving on from the lips. This is like my OG makeup product. Probably the oldest thing I have in my vanity, if I'm being completely honest, but this is from Benefit. It's the Highbrow Duo Pencil and oh, Girl. It glides on just like so. When you carve out this part of the brow, it just snatches it and makes it look so perfect. Also, if you have any stray hairs, it kind of covers that up, but it blends so easily. And you see how this brow just has a little bit of a highlight. It's not like super stark or anything, but this brow, blah, this brow, to prime the lids, I always use a concealer and I don't know what it is about this concealer. I love this on my face, like underneath my eyes and everything, but for the eyelids, this is like perfect. It conceals so well. Also makes my eyeshadow just last so much longer. This is the Stay Naked Quickie Concealer from Urban Decay. I think it's also because it matches my skin tone so perfectly. Perfectly. I'm also going to leave not only the makeup products down below, but the brushes as well because makeup products are important are important But so are the brushes. I feel like the brushes play a big part too. So everything will be linked down below Also, do you see the lips? Do you see the lips? They're getting bigger by the second. <laughs> They're getting bigger by the second let me just say this. Let me get this off my chest. If there was only one makeup brand that I could use for the rest of my life, let it be Makeup by Mario. His products are the easiest to blend. So freaking pigmented and just so high quality. Like maybe the packaging isn't everything. I'm not gonna lie. His packaging is very basic and boring, but like who really cares? His products just, oh, everything I've ever tried is so good. Like everything in his collection is just so amazing. And which leads me to this palette. Oh my God. This is the Makeup by Mario Therial Eyes Palette. It is a limited edition. If you can get your hands on it, freaking do it. Ever since I got this palette, not only have I turned into a shimmer on the lid kind of girl, but I've just been gravitating towards it every single time because it's so beautiful. Like, look at all those neutrals and the shimmers. Just you wait, okay? These shimmers make your lids look so wet and it's not like chunky Claire's looking glitter. This palette single-handedly honestly inspired me to make this sit-down makeup tutorial because I don't think y'all understand. I was on the 
wait list trying to get this in my hands. If you're asking me if this is worth it, absolutely. freaking lootly I'm gonna pick up this lighter bone shade. I'm gonna take this shade all over the lid, packing it on top of that concealer. Kind of setting the concealer as well. Just giving the eyeshadow a base color so everything can blend easier on top. I'm gonna take this color. It is so gorgeous. It's this light brown shade, so it's the perfect transition shade. And I am just taking that into the crease, working in windshield wiper motions. But since we have that tape there, it's basically going to just like stop the shadow and give that super sharp line for us. Do you see how like easily these are blending onto the eye? If it was your first time picking up an eyeshadow palette and you use this, you you would be in good hand. Taking this color right here, the darkest brown, I'm basically just focusing this on the outer part of my lash line, kind of as if I'm using it to like create a wing, but I'm just adding darkness there. This is like the wing for dummies, you know? It's looking a little sloppy, but that's okay. We're going back into the big fluffy brush and we are just going to literally blend the crap out of it. Am I scared to take this tape off because is it gonna look good? I don't know, but... This is just what I do, honestly. When I wanna put on eyeshadow, I kinda just hope for the best, and that's that, okay? Like, my cup of tea is doing my base makeup. Eyeshadow is not my favorite thing to do, but sometimes you just gotta do it for the look, you know what I mean? I'm gonna take this, like, chocolate, this milk chocolate brown, lighter brown situation. Take that into the crease and darken the crease up just a tad and blend that in with the darker shadow on the side. Just add a nice little pop. I think I'm actually gonna take this gold. They all are stunning. Even this gorgeous, hold on. This color and this color, they are a little bit darker, but look, like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, you see how gorgeous? So beautiful. They're so pretty. Just like a little wash of color sometimes on the lid. This one right here. Oh my God, it's stunning. Back to the point. I'm gonna take this one right here and I am just going to throw this on to the lid, like all over. I don't even know if you can see it. The camera's not doing it justice. I'm like, you see it or no? It's like a fairy just shat <laughs> on your eyelid. Please tell me you see the greatness. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to dive into this dark color because I haven't used it yet on my lid. Just focus this on the outer, kind of like a triangle. Yup. Yep. The lids just look so glossy and glowy. A holiday miracle, this palette. Like, uh, I wish this was sponsored, truly. So beautiful. And now it's time to take off the tape and hopefully this actually looks good. <laughs> We're gonna take out my little makeup wipe, little Q-tip, wrap it around. I'm going to clean it up. We're looking crazy, so let's do this base. We're gonna dive in with a little primer. Usually I'm not a primer girl, this is a fact. Skincare is the most important kind of primer, but I will say this primer, I think it honestly got me because of the roller. This is from Refi, the Refi Glow and Sculpt Face Primer. And it has this little rolly ball on the end, so basically what you do, it, oh, it gets me every time. I squeeze way too much, oh! But you squeeze it a little bit and then product comes out and you just start rolling your face. And not only does it feel so good, this gives such a beautiful glow to the face. And sometimes I go a little heavy with the roll because listen, I got some chipmunk cheeks. I got some chipmunk cheeks. So I like just really getting in there with the little, with the little roller. I'll just use my fingers to rub in the extra product. Do you see the it makes my skin look like glass. Gets a little bit tacky. Not like the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer tacky, but just a little bit tacky where it's like, okay, my makeup's gonna stick pretty well to this. Coming from the girl that's like, oh, I don't really use primer. Skincare is important. It is. But we are double dutying on the primer. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It's so hydrating on the skin, but it also fills in the pores and it makes your skin just look porcelain. It fills in the pores, but it also still allows the glow to come through. So if you have some large pores, but you're nervous because a lot of the pore filling primers, they always make your skin just look super dry and cakey and then shit pills on top of it. This one's really good. I will say I'm not new to color correcting, but I've never been like super consistent with it. I would always forget about it because there wasn't like a product that like, I don't know, I loved so much. And then when I seen Monet using this, I was like, okay, let me try it. I don't have the worst dark circles in the world, but if I can get a brighter under eye, I'm gonna do it. 
Amadou. This is from Huda Beauty. It's the Faux Filter Corrector. This is in the shade Pink Pamelio. I definitely am not pronouncing that right. I'm not gonna lie. I apply this just like I'm applying concealer. I do a little bit underneath the eye. And I don't know why. I started putting this on my chin and now I can't go back. Right underneath my nose on my mustache area. Because my 5 o'clock shadow be shadowing, okay? It'd be darkest over there you don't want to like cake up your under eye so i like using a sponge to make sure i only get like a thin layer of it and do you see like it doesn't even make my skin look orange it just simply camouflage it <laughs> Cam camouflages Cam camouflage camouflage mm -hmm. camouflages why am i saying that so weird camouflages you know what i mean she's been on my absolutely obsessed list right now i think i'm actually going to spot conceal just a little bit and this is my favorite concealer to spot conceal with. This is the Lancome. I can't pronounce it, okay? I cannot do a French accent. Tin Ido. Oh, maybe that wasn't that bad. <laughs> that was really bad. This is like a soft matte concealer. The best for covering up any pimples that you have just because it doesn't highlight the area. It just camouflages it and like makes it look undetectable. I love this concealer. Now for foundation. Okay, first of all, I need to highlight this brush. This is from Moda Pro. M O D A. Pro. I've never heard of this company and they sent over this brush and I was like first of all Look how unique this shape is. It's literally a square. I used their concealer brush earlier I don't know the way it's on an angle the precise like I never know how to like describe brushes But this brush has single-handedly changed my life for foundation I'm gonna be using the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation. This is in the shade. What shade is this? 5.5 I did learn less is more. It doesn't matter what foundation you're using. Just start with a little and then you can add more. I don't know if you can even see. I feel like I'm getting really washed out today. All I do is just do downwards motions. It doesn't leave any freaking streaks. It's insane. And then when it comes to like on top, the straight edge of the brush allows you to like carve out that brow. Oh, girl. It is so good. Perfection. And so is the freaking Armani foundation. Like is always my go-to. Trusty good bitch. <laughs> my trusty good bitch jumping right into blush this one uh, patrick ta blushes have been <sighs> i can't get over them i love doing his technique with like the powder first and then the cream but i love doing my cream blush first and then my concealer to like brighten everything up this one is in the shade she's flushed and it's so freaking pretty and i like using a sponge to apply them i always just take a little bit on the back of my hand off because they're pa they're pigmented i was gonna say powerful but they're both that. They're powerful and pigmented. And I'm just going to start working this on the highest points of my cheeks. Like, look at that. I took so much off and it's still so pigmented. But this is also why I like doing my cream blush first. Because then I can clean it up with the concealer. This shade is just Gorgina! I just bring it all the way up, all the way down, just like that. Now for concealer, I get a little extra. Okay, I like mixing too because I do. Okay, that's it. That's all. I like starting with the Hourglass Concealer first. This gives almost like an airbrushed finish and it has a little bit more coverage than the other concealer. I like putting some right in the inner underneath my tear duct and then right by the shadow on my chin, forehead a little bit, on my cupid's bow and around my nose. If you know, you know what I'm about to say. I always say that I love letting this one dry down because you just get a little bit more coverage and then it's easier to like control the blending. You know how I found this out? Last year for New Year's Eve when I was doing my makeup, I was like filming a little TikTok. And then I was like, oh my God, wait. I, literally as soon as I uh, applied my concealer, I was like, wait, I'm doing a transition too. So I remember like literally having this concealer just like this on my skin for almost like, I don't know, five minutes. And then I blended it out because I was filming a little transition video and i was like hold up like letting this concealer dry down actually worked out even better so that's how i figured that one out this is how i prevent concealing when it comes to my concealer i always just tap it out right underneath my inner tear duct tap it without like moving it too much and then i like bringing it on the sides of my nose just a little bit and then connecting to where i put it right down here and i'm not dragging it into the inner part of my eye where like you would get the most creasing and then right here dragging that out right here here to lift the eye and to carve out the eyeshadow with my beauty sponge i'm taking it patting over everything and then kind of connecting right in here now since we didn't apply that concealer nor blend it directly underneath 
the lash line area, you're gonna prevent the creasing because there's not much product there. Maturing is realizing you're gonna crease no matter what. Like you just have eye wrinkles under there, you know? So the less product, the better is what I'm trying to say. When it comes to like the chin and stuff, I kind of just use my sponge because I don't know, it's quicker, it's faster. In between here, I like using my brush because then I don't get any on my brows. Mm, that's how you get the best eye concealer blend out, period. But this one, I didn't even mean to. I got this in such a light shade. This is the Mario concealer. This is in the shade 160. It is so light, but it brightens so well. And it's like a smooth, serum-y kind of texture. I would say this is light to medium coverage, not even. Like you have to build it up to get some coverage. But I love how this brightens up my under eye and it just so creamy and hydrating. Mixing these together, so amazing. Oh no, I'm a little extra when I do my makeup. For this part, I just take my sponge, keeping that product where I placed it, right in the center. Since it's so thin and we don't really have much concealer over there, I don't mind dragging this one all the way across. It lifts that bitch, it's so beautiful. I can't believe this. I literally forgot to use cream bronzer. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I'm using the Makeup by Mario stick and I'm actually warming it up on the back of my hand first. I'm gonna take this Sonia Kashuk buffing blender. I'm gonna take it, whatever's on in the back of my hand. I'm going to plop it right underneath. Yes. I'm gonna go back in with the blush too because a girl f***ed up. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little on my nose. Obviously, we gotta get the chin, the chinny chin chin, the jawline. I'm getting like right behind, right behind that jawline. Jawline, the jawline. And now I'm gonna go back in with the blush because I can't believe myself. Just a little bit. Let's set this bitch. Set number one, I'm actually gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and spray the shit out of my base. I'm gonna let this dry down before I go in with any powder because this is how you get the most out of your setting spray. Spray, well, usually I forgot about that too. Damn, I just be forgetting shit left and right today. Sometimes I'll even spray this before I start my makeup, but I always spray it during, like right after all my creams are applied. You can never use too much setting spray. We got a new powder. I've always loved the hourglass translucent powder but the huda booty one the huda booty one oh yes queen like she knew what she was doing with this so beautiful this is in the shade pound cake getting it out is a little bit difficult i'm actually gonna use my beauty blender to apply this i feel like it just presses that powder deep into the skin and sets it so perfectly also like brightens up the under eye as well it just makes the pores go bye bye and the skin looks so good for bronzer, I'm actually gonna use the Patrick Ta Powder Bronzer. And I got his brush recently, life-changing, because it's on an angled and it's so fluffy. It like blends it out for you and keeps you snatched. So when it comes to having your makeup last all night and day long, well, all day and night long, you wanna set your creams with your powders just to lock it into place. I'm just gonna do the jaw. We're gonna do some powder blush, going back to the Patrick Ta one. Super pigmented, okay. Setting the cream. This is such a beautiful shade. You see, it just brings it together and it's like, oh, okay, okay. This is a look now. I like when my cheekbones are just like blushing, you know? I love this blush so freaking much. Now we're gonna do a little more setting spray, but this time, Taking like a hydrating one to melt everything together. This is from Ciate London. It's the Everyday Vacay Zooey Coconut Setting Mist. And it smells so freaking good. I'm gonna take one of my favorite like finishing powders. This is from Makeup Forever. I know I'm probably putting on so much makeup and it's like, this is crazy. But this is what works for me. It is all about the layering. Anyways, this is, what is this even called? Makeup Forever's Twist and Light Palette. And I'm also taking their brush, the Makeup Forever Professional Brush. Just dipping that into the powder a little bit. And take the brush starting at the top, going in like a three, mixing all the powders together and like basically using this as a setting powder for the face. And it adds like a little bit of a luminosity finish, a luminosity, a luminous finish to the skin. And it like smooths the skin, but still keeps the skin looking so like healthy and dewy and glowy. Like we don't even have a highlighter on and we're set. Like we are set in place, honey. Blends in the blush with the bronzer so there's no harsh lines and I, 
love it. We need to finish up the under eye. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Start with this shade that we used in our crease. And I'm just going to smudge this underneath the lash line. I don't like when my bottom lash line looks super dark. This color is probably the only one that I'm gonna use is I have very small eyes and once I go super dark, forget about it. They are going MIA. I'm kind of lining this up with the other shadow, kind of connecting it. I actually invested in a new eyelash curler. This was from Shiseido. Well, it is from Shiseido and it does it. I mean, I will say I have a lash lift and tint. So my lashes are still a little bit curled. I don't know if you can tell because it kind of is fading away. But this freaking curler and now for my favorite mascara i'm a brown mascara kind of girl brown mascara just makes the eye look a little bit more sexier softer especially with my brown eyes i think it makes it pop and this lash clash i've been using this for so long i'm quite literally obsessed see how it just adds like a softer effect to the eyes it is gorgeous Moving on to the lips. I've been rocking a red lip with everyday makeup, full glam makeup. It's just, I don't know. It's the fall color. And I just, oh, it's the fall color. And I just feel so confident in the red lip. It's everything. And this one's like a muted red. It's like a casual red, not like a holiday stark in your face kind of red. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Universal Earth. Mmm. Damn, oh my God, I got sloppy with that. It's such a good freaking red. I don't know, it's still, it has like that, ew, I got a booger in my nose. Um, it has like that brown undertone. I'm gonna take my finger, and I'm actually gonna just smudge the liner. I'm just gonna take my concealer, a little bit on the back of my hand, take the brush. I always use concealer to carve out my lips just to make them look honestly 3d and it's just one of those steps that like obviously cleans it up so it just looks so professional i'm gonna take the ysl lipstick in the shade 88 and this just on top it acts as like a gloss again a muted red but nonetheless it's adding that color oh you see you see you see the ysl candy glazes and these lipsticks so freaking good but you see how it's like it's a red lip but it's still kind of like muted it's a muted red with a still like that brown undertone and this Oh my god. And if you want to take the gloss up a little bit of a notch, this is the Gloss Bomb Heat from Fenty Beauty. All of these shades look gorgeous and they're so sheer. You're not going to add like this stark red on top, but it does have that plump in there. So it's going to help plump the lips and it also just adds this beautiful gloss to it. This is in the shade Hot Cherry. One of my favorite red lip combos that I've created and I've been creating so many different red lips. This is just like my favorite version. Like it's toned down, you know, on trend for the holidays, for the fall, for the winter, especially with like the eyes, the glossy eye. This is the makeup look, okay? I will literally be doing this tomorrow for Thanksgiving. The hair, let's not talk about the hair because this hair ain't really giving what it needs to give right now. But yeah, that is going to wrap up this video. I had so much fun. I hope you learned something got inspired, maybe found some new products you wanna try. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Like if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, I am offended. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really care, but if you wanna, you know, become a part of the family, become a part of the family. Have a beautiful Thanksgiving, eat so much food, and I'll see you all in my next video. I love you so much. Bye. Yeah, I know I look good, yeah, I look fly